YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Crypto J coming at you guys with yet another J Talks Crypto. If you're brand new to this channel, make sure you drop down there, hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification. I do my best each and every day to give you guys the topics in cryptocurrency. Guys, nothing has changed, nothing has changed. So uh, today I just want to talk about real quick Bitcoin breakdown before we talk about some coins that I am shopping for on this dip. I have a couple coins that I am making videos for. All these coins are utility coins and we'll talk about why after this. But uh, we do want to talk about Bitcoin today. So we've been following Bitcoin pretty heavily. We've been talking about it all month. This big head and shoulders playing out and us dumping down, us creating this bear flag. But ultimately, we did not drop down off of that bear flag. We ended up double bottoming right here. You can see we created one bottom here, another bottom here. We bounced off. This is Thursday night when Elon decided to butt it up when we needed to close above 42. And now here we are dumping again. So where will we go? Nobody knows at this point. We're still watching this pattern play out at 35. We don't really have much support here at 35. Um, our, we have a little bit of support at 34. So hopefully we bounce off 34. If we do not, if we break down, we could see 30K. We could even see 28, honestly. Um, I think around this range, though, we do have some... We are developing some good support. We could even bounce off here and form another one of these nasty head and shoulder patterns right here. And that we could see some downside just like we saw to this one, just like we saw to this one, and overall just like we saw over these three, which created their own head and shoulder. See this shoulder, head, shoulder, dump. And each one, shoulder, head, shoulder, dump, shoulder, head, shoulder, dump, shoulder, head, shoulder, dump, shoulder, head, shoulder, dump. That's a very bearish pattern when we see that. Um, but this pattern that's playing out right here, it's hard to say. This could be a double bottom. A double bottom, we would have seen, where's a double bottom playing out? Right here, in between these two. So you see how it drops down and it has this little point where it touches these little two in the middle right here. It creates that little double bottom and we bounced off and that's a bullish pattern right there. It's a sign of a trend reversal. So Bitcoin wants to reverse, but Elon doesn't want to let it reverse. So Thank you, Elon, for jacking around our bank accounts. What a guy, what a guy. So today we are talking about utility tokens, guys, because that's what I like to shop for when Bitcoin is on sale. It makes a lot of more sales in the market. But the things that we should be buying, guys, is things that have utility because they're on sale right now. And um, there's one token that really has my eye because I think it's very undervalued. It's Marlin token. Comes in at 362 uh, it's not very uh, beautiful coin. It's kind of nerdy and from a technical standpoint It makes a lot of sense and that's why I like it because again it, it gives great utility and it's solving a problem On the blockchain that there's not a lot of coins solving this problem. So so you guys could see Marlin's uh, 24-hour volume is also up 16,000 or 1600 uh, percent I was watching this today at eight cents it ended up going up 100% as I was talking about how uh, good Marlin was. It was literally pumping, and I jumped out of chat, and I had to send in the message. I'm like, it's pumping right now. Dang it. I wanted to make a video on it this morning, but here we are anyway because it is starting to settle down. And again, Bitcoin may have more downside, which will create more sales in the market. So maybe you can catch Marlin if you like this project. Again, Jay's not your financial advisor. I just want to clear that up. I have to clear that up a million times because people say that I show projects, this and that. I really don't. I'm trying to help you guys get a better understanding of the space and i'm just trying to bring you guys the news each and every day to the best of my abilities of course best of my abilities so why so don't get mad at me um but today we're going to talk about what marlin is um so all right let's see what makes marlin unique we're going to pause too just to break down some of these big nerd words because there's this is uh kind of more intricate this is not very um surface level this is kind of a uh, token that helps people or that people would understand from a standpoint of like understanding the blockchain so marlin is one of the few level zero projects focused on the network layer optimization so let's focus on what level zero is or layer zero layer zero is the network framework running underneath the blockchain it's made up of protocols connections hardware miners and everything that forms the foundation of the blockchain ecosystem so Marlin is getting down on the underbelly of the blockchain. Sorry, this is my Facebook. Um, so yeah, let's see what makes Marlin unique again. So Marlin is one of the few layer zero projects focused on the network layer optimization. Similar to Filecoin, which is incentivized IPFS, Marlin claims to be the equivalent uh, of an incentivized LIBP2P. Pause, let's see what LIBP2P is. LIBP2P is a network framework that allows you to write 
decentralized peer-to-peer -peer applications. Originally, the networking protocol of IPFS, it has since been extracted to become its own first-class project. So that's what that is. Uh, where were we? Okay, this makes Marlin ambiguous to the decentralized web as any peer-to-peer -peer application relies on networking between distributed nodes to function. Marlin is thus blockchain and, and agnostic. It offers gateways built on several layer one as well as several layer two platforms, unlike several other scaling solutions which suffer from the scalability trilemma where either one of performance, decentralization, or security is sacrificed. Improvements in the network layer are not subject are not subject to such constraints which primarily govern consensus layer. So there is a network layer which is the bottom layer. Um, it's a layer where peer-to-peer -peer, uh, propagation happens. The consensus layer uh, where blocks are agreed upon and finally the mining takes place so that's just my notes i wrote down to make this a little easier but let's check out the marlin website also um actually let's yeah let's check out the website and then we'll check out the chart after that and some reasons why i think that marlin is undervalued so it says the unglamorous underbelly of the decentralized economy so it talks about that trilemma that again we talked about the trifactor of being dilemmas, which is scalability, decentralization, and anonymity. Um, and it says uh, Marlin Foundry uh, networked broadband leverage an existing node network for added security, flexible incentivization, use your own token for payments and governance, um, extensible, yeah, extensible, extensible agriculture deploy customized routing rules on the marlin vm so this is a marlin this is all of the um so marlin's available this it's been talked about on bloomberg yahoo finance binance labs and nasdaq um marlin's pretty awesome i really like marlin um they have their own discord here i actually haven't checked out the discord how many people are on the marlin discord Switch device. Only 3,000 people in the Marlin Discord. All nerds. All nerds. Nobody invests in this except for nerds. Um, but yeah, I really like Marlin. Um, we could talk about the chart here. Marlin is very undervalued. We talked about it at 8 cents this morning. Watched it shoot up to 16 cents. Um, it's all time high. Was up here back in April. It was around 28 cents. Um, and so now you can see it's at a fraction of the price. It's so on super sale. Um, Marlin's listed on a lot of really big exchanges too. That's another thing that I always look at. Once this volume picks up, I think a lot of people are going to be uh, trying to get their positions back in a lot of these coins. So Marlin is listed on Binance. It's listed on Gate.io and Howby Global, which is I think the number two actually, um, as well as Uniswap. So. It's listed on the number two exchange, one and two exchange, as well as Gate.io, which I believe is like number seven right now in terms of volume. Um, you could see they had a big breakout today, but then they kind of drop back down in price a little bit. But again, it just shows you that, um, you know, with the big, every time Bitcoin pumps, this thing is really starting to pick up some volume. And that's what we look for in these times of uncertainty is where the volume goes in these trades and uh, again, supply and demand. So. Um, it just shows you what people are looking for, um, as well as Marlin doesn't have a very huge supply. I think their supply is somewhere around, yeah, their max supply is 10, 10 billion. So it's not a huge supply of Marlin, uh, which I like. Again, scarcity is good. It makes it so uh, the price will jack up higher and higher and higher, um, which is good. That's what we want. We want our coins to be worth something, not, you know, one of a gazillion in a non-deflationary coin. Um, so I like the fact that it doesn't have a humongous supply. If you look at the holders, uh, Marlin does not have a lot of holders. It only has 6,000 holders that are holding Marlin. So that's really good. Um, and it's just, it's very trusted. If you look at the ether scan here, um, go to holders, you guys can see this is their contract wallet, hold 67. I'm not too nervous when I see these types of, 
wallets, uh, just that they are on Gate.io, they're on Binance, they're on big things, as well as Marlin is just a really big coin and these guys are trusted, so I don't have a problem with it. They have 6,000 holders to date though. That, to me, that's like, that's like not a lot of holders, you know, like this is a very early with Marlin and I think it's because not a lot of people really understand it, but the fact that also their market cap now is at uh, $97 million, it shows you that those 6,000 people, a lot of them are whales for them to almost have $100 million. Um, well, it's at 80, it's at a, actually $80 million market cap. So almost a hundred million dollar market cap. And that just kind of shows you that these guys have money that are invested in Marlin and they are long on the project because you could see here that the top 100 wallets hold 89% of it, uh, which normally, again, I don't like that in a smaller cap coin, but one of these bigger coins, I don't mind that just because there's not a lot of volatility. I mean, there's a lot of volatility in the market in general right now. But this is just a lot of sideways motion that's going on with Marlin. It kind of looks similar to the Bitcoin chart. So again, it's just kind of moving with Bitcoin. And um, it's looking for, to me like it's just looking for a breakout. I'm not too concerned about the holders or anything like that. Again, we're coming in at 362 uh, for Marlin. But there's not a lot of level zero solutions that are working on that network layer uh, to make these things more scalable. So things like transactions per second, um, programs like or protocols like uh, Polkadot, things like Cardano, these big DeFi projects, they can benefit from Marlin. It's kind of like putting a jetpack on it and just increasing all of its total uh, power as far as uh, you know how many transactions and stuff it can do from that level zero. So there's a lot of uh, solutions on layer two right now. A lot of people focusing on level layer two, um, but Marlin is focused on layer zero, which is kind of making it stand out as well as it's just a beast i mean you guys could see almost 100 million dollars in 24 hour volume this thing is pumping it did have some price action a little bit of a dump today but look we found some support at a higher level which shows me that some of those people that bought they see the value in what they bought and they're going to hold on to it so really like marlin i see it going places in the future i could see marlin hitting a dollar um, by the end of the bull cycle easily possibly more and again it's something that can be really big in the blockchain and you know it could be one of those things that you buy and then you know five years from now who knows how much your marlin is going to be worth to list it on big exchanges has a ton of utility i really like it this is the type of thing that i buy on these dips i was mentioning it this morning before it pumped 100 percent still up 30 percent keeps you know going up and down but um i really like marlin i really really like this project and not financial advice, just your homie Crypto J, bringing you news each and every day. But Marlin is something that I'm definitely, definitely checking out. I was actually checking out too on their Twitter. I briefly checked it out, um, but it looks like so the staking website backend has been upgraded and properly supports multiple chains. So they're going to have some staking that was just announced on the fourth. Today's the sixth. Uh, if you guys are interested in checking out their last little AMA, they do have it on their Twitter, so you can go check them out. It is at Marlin Protocol. And yeah, Marlin is something that I really like. Let's see how many people are in the Telegram. Oh, 16,000 people in the Telegram. Nice. That's awesome. With 601 people online. Those guys are all nerds. <laughs> yeah, so um, again, really like Marlin. Might be a project that you guys want to check out. I'm going to be talking about a lot more of these utility tokens on this dip just because there's a lot of stuff on sale right now and uh, a lot of stuff that's very underpriced in my opinion. Of course, if you guys like Marlin, make sure you do your research. Don't come back and say, Jay, you told me. No, Jay was just a point of reference. Go out and do your research, guys. I do my research each and every day. It's very important that we do our research. This space is growing very, very fast and you guys want to be up on it. If you enjoyed this video, also make sure you hit that like button. If you guys want to come trade with me, Make sure you share this video on Twitter and you at JTalks Crypto or you can just DM me on IG and I will get back to you and we will add you into my private telegram where you can talk to me, ask me about your projects or if there's any projects too that you guys want me to talk about, let me know in the comments below. So, yep, that's it for Marlin and I will catch you in the, I will catch you in the next video. Peace.